China's golden age of espionage continues, and as a fresh round of spies take their positions in adversarial cities, its space program is poised to take the lead with little opposition. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization VI in Series 3 of our Controlled Chaos Meta Series, Empire of Espionage. So, remember last episode how I was very confused about... And this has happened twice in the series, but last episode I think I was particularly pointed about it. We were sending a great artist around, and then, you know, even though the interface was indicating to me that there was a slot for a great work when it was time to actually let that great artist expend a charge and actually create a work of art to store in that city it was saying that there wasn't a slot and i was like what the heck is happening here and <laughs> i had an explanation offered in the comments where it was the kind of explanation where i read it and i'm like oh yeah i feel silly so it's really straightforward, and just for anyone who's newer to the game, I want to make sure that this is clear. Obviously, I'm stealing great works at an enormously accelerated rate. A much more accelerated rate than I would typically be stealing great works of art. And the reason for that is that, well, we have all of the spy bonuses in place so that we can get the cultural and science bonuses from any offensive operations. But stealing great works is a great way to kind of passively build up your culture income over time as you can see with like how our science is doing relative to everyone else and how our culture is doing relative to everyone else we're, we're just we're using the benefits which benefit both science and culture even though great works are just for culture we're using the benefits to boost both as much as possible and you're really starting to see the effects and so since i'm stealing great works so much more than i typically would I'm just bringing them in, I'm bringing some fresh ones home every single turn. And so it's natural that there would be moments where there was a slot one turn and then there's not the next turn, even though I just moved a great artist in order to get that done. So appreciate that explanation because it was so straightforward and I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. So let's jump back in. I'm gonna go ahead and select social media here. It's gonna be done in one turn and we'll give us another governor title. Uh, not much other than that, but I, would appreciate the extra governor title. So we're gonna run with that. Let's see. Uh, can we train any more spies or are we pretty much done with that? I think we're pretty much done. And we can probably convert to nuclear power here. I do need to improve. You know what? Do I have a builder training anywhere? No, I don't. Let's get a builder done in Jian because I have two uh, uranium sources nearby that I need to improve, that I've been needing to improve for a while. All right, so we did just finish a builder in Handan. You know, I'm going to go ahead and build the Venetian arsenal in Handan because if I can use that to start building a powerful navy rapidly, it's like, uh, yeah, yes, please. We're going to be doing that. Let's see, Yayang, I could do a water park. It would be good for making nearby cities a little bit happier. Be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, Erfurt would be covered. Chengdu, not so much. Although, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Man, yeah, I don't want to get rid of those fish. Although I could put it right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no way. Oh, we're definitely... All right, we're going to put a water park here. And it's actually going to make all of these cities, including Changsha, once it's fully improved, it's going to provide an amenity to all of them. That is amazing. Wasn't expecting that. Let's go ahead and place an aerodrome on Qushan. And we have our new governor title. I don't think hang on i don't think any other industrial zones are in range let's look at the empire map just to make sure all right so there's an industrial zone there's an industrial zone yeah there are no other industrial zones in range of magnus so there's not much point to giving him that promotion right now as much as i hate to say it Let's get a solar farm in Guangzhou. I haven't done much with archaeologists this playthrough. That's another thing that would really help bolster my culture victory chances. 
Oh, and we do have Cleopatra's religion over here in Changsha and Chengdu. That's something that I've like had my eye on, but I haven't said anything out loud about it. And that is absolutely something that we'll be taking care of sooner than later. I just want to make sure that this particular city is following my religion first. And a lot of the apostles that I have, that's one of the reasons I trained those apostles up here last episode. A lot of these apostles are down to their last charge and they're like combat apostles. So I'm keeping them around, you know, in case anyone else tries to come down here and convert. Because then not only will we get religious influence, but we'll diminish the influence of other religions, especially the one that lost, uh, just in one fell swoop, which is great. All right, let's put that machine gun on guard mode. And then this builder, what can you do? Looks like we can do an industry over the whales, and we're going to try not to feel horrifically guilty about that. We're not going to succeed, but, you know, it's a video game. That's what I'm going to tell myself as I cry myself to sleep. <laughs> Let's uh, put this builder here. Some adjacent farms, like, on this low-lying, you know, floodplains would actually be quite useful. All right, now let's get that fish tile improved. It's going to take a couple of turns. The skirmisher will stay there until it can fully upgrade. And then this builder... Well, actually, there is... Yeah, there's stone right next door that needs to be improved. That'll really help you young build faster. Also, hang on, let me check something. Oh, yeah, no kidding. So another thing that was pointed out is that this city is falling in loyalty. But at the same time, I wasn't expecting these cities to actually fall. And I kind of doubt that this one will. I could totally send my cultists over there to speed up the process. Uh, which would be kind of a dastardly thing to do to my friend. But at the same time, it's kind of what I've been doing the entire time. So why not go ahead and give these cultists something to do? Without these cultists, and this is something that's very specific to the game mode that we're playing on. Without these cultists, I this is not something I would normally bat an eye at. Like, that's 63 turns. And chances are it's going to grow before then. So like the idea that I'm going to take that city from them using loyalty pressure would normally be preposterous. Okay, let's go ahead and start building Railroad. I still have coal income coming in, which is important for continuing to get that railway finished. Now, as I recall, yeah, this apostle, nice, converted Harar. So now we've kind of really built up a nice buffer near Yergalem. And Yergalem is going to be, uh, is going to rebel in how many turns? Five turns? Very nice. I don't know that there's anything that can stop that at this point. All right, so we're going to do a ski resort in Handan. Go to right there. Just for a little bit of extra tourism. And then the military engineer... I guess we'll send them down. Whoa, why did you go? Wow. I guess they decided it would be a faster route to follow the rail and they, then get back into the water down here. I was not expecting them to get back on land. Okay, new apostle. Mm, indulgence vendor, not a great set of promotions there. Hang on, I need to move them off of Shendu if I can do more here. All right, we'll do Pilgrim. Yeah, I should have remembered that with the first one, but I forgot. Yep, Pilgrim it is, and we will move you here, and we will now get that built. I just remembered, can I not build the Estadio de Maracana in Zhadong? I think I might be able to. All right, we're going to send this spy straight to Washington to mess with Teddy's capital. And yeah, we're finally going to build that wind farm, as promised last episode. All right, you gain sources. I want those chances of success to be as high as possible. Canada uh, wants some aluminum. Okay. 
I guess we'll go with that. What if I change this to two? Will you take that? No, you won't. You jerk. All right. Well, we're already getting tea. So I guess I will just go ahead and set that to three. There we go. I'll accept it. Just going with the original offer. I can spare it. It's fine. We have a bunch of new apostles that we can use to solidify our religion's hold on this area. And it probably would be a good idea to train some settlers to actually claim this territory before someone else does. I might even be able to buy one with gold, to be honest. I mean, my gold income is starting to get absurd. Distraction by distraction. Okay. We successfully stole a painting. So, again, Exhibit A, <laughs> literally, we have a new painting in yet another museum. Yep. Can spread religion two extra times. Let's move you. Can spread religion two extra times. I guess we'll do martyr. Oh, yeah, that's like the worst set of promotions right there. Okay, you're awaiting an assignment. Tell you what, siphon funds. Because if I need to buy settlers, it's useful if I'm using someone else's gold. <laughs> Just telling it like it is. It's better if the money isn't mine, you know? All right, so we've had some permanent coastal flooding that is not rendering properly because that's the way Civilization VI gets in the late game, unfortunately. Now, we do need to make sure we train some athletes. Oh, the dark summoning, forgot about that. Can I buy the sanctuary? No, I can't. I might be able to next turn. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and build a dam on this river. The fact that there's not already a dam is a little bit atrocious. All right, we're going to improve that aluminum, finally. Been waiting on that for a while. And we'll get a nuclear power plant going in Launchy. Going a little bit heavy on nuclear at the moment. Okay, so I've already trained a builder here. You know what? Yeah, let's do a, a settler here. Uh, it does look like I'm not going to be able to buy one this turn, but next turn I will be able to. So bear that in mind. Oh, have we really not improved that tile yet? It's right next to Wuhan. Wow. I think it's just because it's sitting right behind the city center. It's hard to notice that it's there. All right, let's get another builder. We have another governor title. can construct the fishery improvement, plus one food, 0.5 housing, plus one food if adjacent to a sea, uh, sea resource, plus one production if Liang is in the city. Oh, we have another governor title. Did we get two in one turn? Okay, cool. Where did we put him? Yeah, in Jian. So that's not ideal anymore. I mean, really, he needs to be in a coastal city. So I might move him so those fisheries can have the maximum possible benefit. All right, so it looks like Germany is trying to move their rocket artillery army on shore. <laughs> uh. How you feeling about that decision, Frederick? Asking for a friend. How did that taste? How'd that go for you? Oh, look. Another one of Frederick's units just innocently sitting out in the water. I do believe I will. Thank you very much. Now, this is going to put the destroyer in range of that encampment. I was worried about that last episode, but it ended up not being a thing. Now it will absolutely be a thing. Okay. Um, I really want to upgrade these units, but here's the thing. 
if I'm going to buy settlers with gold, you know, um, then I need to save my gold. <laughs> so we're going to hold off on that for the time being. Let's start work on the railway here. We'll improve those fish soon enough. I don't think there's anything else this builder can do here. I'm going to send them towards that uranium. And we will start getting these new apostles in the water. I guess this Inquisitor... Is there anywhere in my core territory that I can send you? Oh yeah, actually. Let's send you to Jian. Take care of that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we have the ability to disrupt rocketry in Hamburg. And also it looks like we can do it in Magdeburg. We're also going to do that in Wakkapnel. So this is going to be a particularly devastating round for my spies, assuming nothing goes horribly wrong. Now, I want you to gain sources, because you need a couple more turns before you're really going to be able to succeed. All right. There's our industry. Oh, wow. So you really want turtles. You're willing to give me 11 gold per turn for it. Okay. Cool. Cool. Good deal. You want pearls? What would you give me? Okay. 10 gold per turn? Let's do it. Let's check with Canada. Do you want pearls? What would you give me? Perfect. So I've just bolstered my gold income by close to 40. All right, we're going to send this military engineer down to Wuhan. That way, having two in the area will kind of help piggyback or leapfrog would be the more appropriate term. Okay, so they're attacking the destroyer, shocking no one. This is going to be interesting because I have a lot of spy operations that are going to be done this next turn. Climate change is really a factor this game, more so than in past games. Many dispute the actual start of the future era, but you know it was when China discovered cybernetics. If there is any work in the afterlife, you must do it. Behold me whenever you are called. Be watchful at any moment to work there. Plow my fields. Carry water and sand to the east and west. Behold me whenever you are called. We find everywhere men of mechanical genius of great general acuteness. Okay, I love you, Sean, but those are long quotes. Two in a row, too much. Let's see. I do generally like to listen to those, but when you have two doozies in a row, it's like, okay, let's keep the episode a moving. Corporate libertarianism. That's the very last tech in that particular tier. We could do Operation Ivy here. Hang on, how are we doing on the athletes? I mean, we're winning on athletes, just to be clear. Although it looks like... Hmm. Neighborhood might be a good idea here. Let's put it up there in the tundra. Taiwan is also in need of a neighborhood. Let's put it right here in the tundra. New government available. Uh, I'm not going to change anything policy-wise. I think I'm quite happy with what I've got. All right, 
I'm going to wreck that fishing boat just to make Germany's life a little bit more difficult. Oh, yeah. Also, let's go ahead and buy a settler. And soon enough, I will be able to send some units down. Matter of fact, I can do this right now. Let's just take care of this. I'm going to send these mechanized infantry down to take care of this barbarian outpost. And I will support them with this destroyer. Let's do some solar power there. And then move the destroyer one tile farther away, just for safety's sake. Okay, this is working quite well. Oh god, now they're both on one tile. That is historically problematic. Okay, good, I can separate them. And now on this tile, I'll just place a farm. And then we'll actually start leapfrogging them next turn. these apostles just need to come down here. I can send them over multiple turns. There's no need to uh, take it turn by turn. I tend to like doing that, but it's not always necessary. Your progress towards venture politics has advanced considerably. Nice. So since we built the uranium mine, we have now gotten a little bit closer to finishing that particular cultural advancement. Beijing also has some enemy religious influence in it, so let's cleanse that city as well. I'm going to move over here in order to prepare. What's nice is that I didn't have anything on top of the uranium. That's kind of shocking. Okay. Improve those fish. And we can probably steal a great work once again. Uh, I could also neutralize this governor here. Let's just steal a great work, though. Those are the most valuable things at the moment. All right, see? Full loyalty in four turns. So I don't think doing anything with my cultists is really useful at this point in time. For a brief moment, it was looking like we were doing pretty well there. I mean, maybe as Guangzhou grows, but I think what's happening is, oh yeah, this city's going to rebel, though, for sure. Yeah, that's actually what happened. They built a new city, and it's asserting loyalty pressure on Tenayuka, helping keep it properly balanced. Which, you know, that's a good move. I would have done similarly if I were in Monty's position. Just put a city down. Oh my god. He's offering me 52 gold per turn. For 30 turns. 52. You know what? Choke on it, Fred. <laughs> like, you know what, dude? You can keep offering me more and more. Because right now, the war weariness that you're suffering is keeping your science victory at bay. Yeah, see, he's launched the Mars colony, and he's researched smart materials. So we have got to catch up with him. Nice. Over himself, Five? Over his own body and mind. The individual is sovereign. Five successful spy operations. Hell yeah. All right. Fabricate scandal. I'm going to give them all offensive promotions. Recruit partisans. Oh my god, that's fantastic. All right, so I want you to steal another great work. And is there not one more spy? Or did I did I miscount? I might have miscounted.
Yeah, you're awaiting an assignment. Oh, but you just got a promotion. Okay, I might have miscounted there. Okay. Okie doke, let's see. I'm just going to go with cultural hegemony. No, don't quite have enough to buy another settler this turn, but I should have enough next turn. So what I'm going to do is just queue up a Ferris wheel to be built in the traditional way. We'll get a hangar going there in Tlacopan. And also, let's get a wind farm going. Nice. Okay, so now the city is fully powered. Using renewable means. We can build a flood barrier in Erfort. I'm actually going to queue up a... Well, no, just kidding. It's going to take nine turns. Really? Really? Nine turns? Okay, go ahead and queue that up because I'm going to see if I can save any tiles at all. It's probably... Whoa! Hold on. Any city-states loyal to what's-his-face? Any city-states that haven't had a suzerain yet? There's a question. Probably not. <laughs> we could steal Yerevan from Cleopatra. We totally could. Okay, so we're going to take Rapa Nui. And also, that reminds me, we've got Auckland locked down. Let's put three into Cahokia, and that'll give me considerably more gold income per turn. We just went up nearly 100 gold per turn by doing that. That worked out, to say the very least. That worked out. Oh! You want to give me a builder. Oh, you know what? Because I had the Great Admiral there, it might have just killed the builder. Oh, that's lame. That's lame. I didn't think it would do that. Well, lessons were learned. Does it always do that, or, or is there some special gameplay reason? Like, is, is there some condition that's currently being met that led to that happening? That's so interesting. Okay, so we've got mechanized infantry on the ground, and this barbarian encampment is not going to be able to withstand what I'm about to do. We're going to put this settler in the water. We have a settler training up in Wuhan that's going to be done before long. Let's go ahead and... Expand the rail line, shall we? Perfect. And we'll start building down towards our forts. All right, we can chop down those trees. I haven't done any chopping in a while, and that would be a good idea just to get ahead of the curve on some of these production projects. Okay, next turn we'll be able to improve that uranium. And it looks like we also have an opportunity to build a solar plant right there in Shendu, in the capital. Okay, so I'm going to send an Inquisitor down. We might as well. Hang on. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Let's just train a couple of Inquisitors and send them straight down. The Apostles are just as good in some ways, but the Inquisitor, the entire purpose of them is just to cleanse a city of a particular religion's influence. So, Or of any other religion's influence, for that matter. But the religion that the Inquisitor belongs to. Let's siphon funds from Adwa. And then disrupt rocketry in Washington. The main thing is that most of my spies right now are new, so what we really want to see is success after success after success here, kind of like we just had in the last turn. It's been weird that we've had like the number of, of failures and stumbles over the last few episodes that we've had, given the bonuses that have built up and given Wu Zetchen's bonus. Special session of the World Congress. Teddy Roosevelt was ravaged by a disaster. Okay. Okay. 
Major flood? Really? Did the river flood right as I'm building a dam? Did you really do that? If the enemy know not where he will be attacked, he must prepare in every quarter, and so be everywhere weak. So extra production to all quarry, oil well, and oil rig improvements. Some of my new cities actually have that quarry set up. All right, so we are starting in a hole, oddly enough. Let's select the tortoise promotion, move you here. We're going to move this destroyer in place there just so that they can... I doubt that they actually provide any kind of bonus. Ooh, this is a Plains Hills tile right here. It's not the best spot for a city. But we could go ahead and just put a city down. You know? Or at the very least, we can have the settler on the continent. Offshore wind farm. Perfect. Yeah, remember that we are not running with GDRs this particular playthrough, so the GDR stuff is not going to show up. Oh, nice. Did you see what the bonus for that Great Admiral is? Where are you? Are you in my capital? Are you near my capital? Where, where are you? Here you are. Gain two randomly chosen free technologies. Gimme. you drive out where the storm clouds swallow, and the sound of your oar blades falling hollow... As all we have left through the months to follow. Roger Kipling. It ascends from the earth to the heaven, and it again descends to the earth, and receives the force of things superior and inferior. Okay, um, I'm going to put Shendu on production focus. The fact that it's not is kind of maddening. It should have been this whole time. I think I probably took it off a while back, but given that we're focusing on space projects, that is absolutely what I should be doing there. Uh, let's also buy hey what I will buy a settler in I'm gonna buy one up in Beijing and the reason is I don't want the loyalty situation in these cities to change given what's currently going on All right I can still buy an amphitheater in Guangzhou so let's also build an archaeological museum, and maybe we can work on building another archaeologist in the turns to come. All right, I want you to... Yeah, we still have more that we can either harvest or build around this city. Okay, so we did successfully escape there. So we were successful, but we were detected, unfortunately. All right, let's go with advanced AI. A lot of these techs are not going to unlock anything specific since the GDR is not in-game. <laughs> I actually remembered this playthrough as opposed to what happened in the last one. We're going to do a little bit more damage to Germany's kind of coastal resource gathering here. And next turn, we will have enough to start upgrading these skirmishers. Let's just put all of these cultists to sleep. They can hang out, and we will remove these woods. I'll put two turns off of the archaeological museum. All right, now... I'll gain 100 gold if I successfully convert a city with that particular apostle. All right, I need to send you down to this natural wonder so that you can gain your extra charges. We don't have enough gold to buy that mercury tile. Believe me, I want to. We'll have to wait till next turn. Okay, I want you to steal this tech boost from... Well, no. Steal a great work. The amount of great works that I've stolen. <laughs> Can we just appreciate that for a moment? Okay, I'm gonna... Well, let's have you breach the dam. Just to be a little bit more destructive. A little bit spicier. Steal some gold. 
Okay. Is this a repeat trade route? Seems like it might be. Yeah, it is. Repeat the route. I think one thing I could probably do, because I have room for another trader, I should set up a trader in Shendu and have them trade somewhere that's high production in order to bring in more production towards these space race projects. That's one thing that will help me catch up. Let's take a look at that real quick. Yeah, so Frederick is very close to launching the expedition, unless I stop him with my spies. And I could potentially like reallocate my spies to all of his cities. That would be one way to make sure that he doesn't do more damage. All right, let's send the Inquisitors down to these two cities. Going to take a few turns. And we are at the end of this turn, and probably also at the end of this episode. Let's see how this next round of spying goes. Oh, Yergalim has rebelled. Wow. You're willing to give me... 57 gold per turn for 30 turns. And you're going to give me the Singing Worm. And you want these three items. 57 gold per turn. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. I already have more than enough gold per turn. Thank you very much. That's a very generous offer. I appreciate it. My answer is no. Okay, we knew that mission. Spy was undetected. That's a shame. Why don't you try that again? And on that note, uh, we are about 37 minutes into the episode. I'm going to stop this one here. In the next one, we are going to continue building up the experience of our brand new spies, which are having more luck than the last round. And we're going to continue connecting these cities down here to Wuhan up here and to the capital by extension. And also that trader probably, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that before I even end the episode. We have a trader in Shendu and they're going to help bring in additional production so that the space race projects finish up a little bit faster. Now, another thing that would help with that is if we had a great scientist that could actually boost those, but all of the great scientists possible have already been earned unfortunately. So we will just have to make do. That might be one of the reasons that Frederick Barbarossa is doing so well. So we're just going to have to keep our foot on the gas and hope that we can get our exoplanet expedition built before he builds his and before it arrives and gives him the victory. It's going to be close. This one might come down to the wire, but, you know, that just makes it all the more exciting. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If it's not your first time or even your second, look for the join button to access unique emotes, badges, and other perks. New episodes are coming out every day but Monday at 11 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time, and comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.